Hawaii, making the president a two-term president. Tonight, Hawaii Democrats took part in the presidential preference poll. It's no surprise who's the favorite in the party, but Democrats say that this is an important part of the election year as Republicans continue their nomination process. <laughs> Some of the state's most visible and ardent Democrats turned out to voice their support for President Obama. These are the people who are going to start to organize our campaign for Barack Obama and all the Democrats that we want to send back to Washington. In 2008, more than 37,000 people in Hawaii voted in the presidential preference poll, pitting then-Senator Obama and Senator Hillary Clinton. And that, uh, that was a thrill, a barely manageable thrill. Uh, this is smaller, but the grassroots movement is, is firm. District 27, Precinct 3. Besides officially casting votes for Obama in the polls, state Democrats also held precinct elections. For some people, like Tyler Dos Santos Tom, who's working on Mufi Hanneman's congressional campaign, there's an extra reason to participate. We want to get as much support as we can to the convention, and I'm sure that other candidates across the state are doing the same thing. The congressional seats uh, are a very high priority. We need to send to Washington all Democrats, especially that open Senate seat, to support the president. Tonight, 1,032 delegates were selected to attend the state Democratic convention, a vital part of establishing the party's platform for the year. It's really important that we get you know, real people from the community giving their input because it's a really important election. People's values in the state of Hawaii are consistent with where Democrats are at, uh, not so much uh, with, the, with the National Republican Party. And just a short while ago, we were told that 968 votes were cast in 38 of 51 districts. Next Tuesday, Republicans will be voting in presidential caucuses, which will be organized as a party-run primary 